Hi, I'm Daryl Canada. Always looking for more putt-putt boat speed, I tested seven hull designs with three different engines in various configurations and combinations. Unless otherwise noted, a single engine was used in each test. Water line lengths were similar at plus or minus 20 inches. One of these, the barge, was tested with both one and two engines. For control, I also tested a boat with six inches less and one with six inches more water line. The longer one was tested with both one and two engines. All of the engines had been previously tested under controlled conditions in a test tank and usually produced a force of 140 to 160 millinewtons. Most boats were tested with at least two different engines. For further control, one of the engines was used in all of the boats. At least two runs of 300 feet were used with each boat and motor combination to determine average speeds. Subjective observation had to come into play to decide if the engine performance was at par. Several things needed to be considered in evaluating the test results. For example, full-size performance is not necessarily an indicator of how a scale model will perform. Also, force in a putt-putt comes in pulses rather than a steady flow. How much is weight a factor? Total boat and motor weights range from 6.05 ounces to 9.5 ounces. Putt-putt engine performance can be inconsistent, often below par and sometimes well above par. The above par performance was important as it demonstrated that the boat was capable of speed well above the norm. So on to the results. As expected, the short control boat was the worst performer by a considerable margin. The long control boat was slow with one engine, but with two engines was equal to the others despite the extra weight and drag. The barge was the slowest of the main group with one engine, but on a par with two engines. The rest of the boats with similar water lines had average speeds within 5% of each other. Considering weight differences and varying engine performance, the results were too close to declare a winner. All the boats were able to perform at least 10% above their average speed when the engine decided to overperform. Overperforming speeds were still well below theoretical hull speed. No doubt, sophisticated tests in a tow tank could determine a winner, but I doubt the difference would be great. Although no design proved to be a clear advantage, it was nice to know that design changes for aesthetics should not hurt performance very much. Thanks for watching, and I hope you will watch some of my other videos.